Terrence Crawford Canelo. That's the biggest fight in boxing. Terrence Crawford is trying hard to build interest in the boxing public in a fight that he's hoping to get next by telling fans that a match between him and Canelo Alvarez is the biggest one in the sport. Crawford, all the credit in the world for even thinking about possibly fighting Canelo. On July 29th, Terence Crawford solidified his name as the pound-for-pound -pound king by comfortably handing Errol Spence Jr. his first professional defeat. He did a really good job with the Spence. He did, like, almost look very easy. A showdown which was expected to be the toughest challenge of Crawford's career, but levels of ability were on full show. They said I wasn't good enough. I couldn't beat these top welterweights. It's admirable that Crawford is willing to come out of his comfort zone by moving up three weight classes to face the Canelo Dramel winner because it's a risky move on his part. Moving to 168, you know, but kind of he really walks around it that way. But at the same time, this is probably the only way that Crawford will ever get the opportunity to share the ring with Canelo Alvarez because he won't accommodate him by coming down in weight to make that fight happen. I can't go down anymore. Canelo Alvarez says he's open to a fight with welterweight Terence Crawford next at 168 after his title defense of his undisputed super middleweight championship against Jermel Chalo on September 30th. We'll see in the future, why not? If it makes sense, why not? Considering that Crawford fights three divisions below the four-belt 168-pound champion Canelo and has never fought in that weight, it would be a business-level fight to make money for the Nebraska native before he soon retires. That's a big step. Go up three weight classes from 147 to 168. Terence Crawford has started campaigning for a fight against Canelo Alvarez next despite having zero experience at 168 and not being a proven pay-per-view fighter outside of his last contest against Errol Spence Jr. last July. You know, Bud is one of those guys that like to challenge himself, so... Crawford seems to have a sense of entitlement, believing he deserves special treatment after his recent win over Errol Spence. And tonight, I believe I show how great I am. Crawford wants to use that victory at 147 to be allowed to skip the line to challenge Canelo without earning it. For you to go from 140 all the way up to 168. If Alvarez and Crawford do get together while both are at or near the tops of their games, or at least while both are still holding recognized championships, it'd be the sort of high-end summit meeting whose images would be recalled for generations. I respect Darius Crawford. He's a, a, a very talented yeah. fighter. Alvarez has been a recognizable star for a decade. He's been a champion in four weight classes, and he currently holds a four-pack of title belts at 168 pounds. He's been atop the pay-per-view structure in this sport for 10 full years. Crawford, meanwhile, has been a champion in three classes, now holds every worthwhile belt at 147 pounds, and is recognized by most reputable sources as the world's top pound-for-pound -pound fighter. I want to be three-time undisputed. And though they're 21 pounds apart on the weigh-in scales, they actually stand eye to eye at 5 feet 8 inches and the Nebraskan would have a 3 plus inch reach advantage. Canelo's not a big guy. You know, he's 5'8". So if he chooses to come into the fight with Canelo at the same weight he fights at for his bouts at welterweight, he might be too small and weak to compete. Crawford can bulk up um, to Canelo's size. Of course, Canelo has the power to get Crawford's respect, and if he's counting on the Mexican star being weight-drained or damaged from two car crashes like his last opponent Errol Spence Jr., he will be out of luck. If you see his record, he just beat a, one good fighter. Although Canelo admits that it's a crazy fight and he won't receive credit for beating Crawford, he says he's open to facing him if it makes sense. I don't need to take that fight because everybody's gonna say this too small. It's believed that Terence Crawford is looking for as much money as possible before heading out the door, so he's trying to line up a golden parachute to give him a soft landing into retirement. Alvarez has been a pro since 2005 and he's won 59 fights with a variety of approaches that change depending on the style of the man standing in front of him. Lo que más deseo en este deporte dejar un, un nombre en la historia del boxeo si... When faced with foes who flit around the ring he stalks with varying levels of aggression. When he sees that he's got a shot at finishing you off, he goes and gets and when dealing with those who choose to come toward him, he's patient and particularly effective at countering shots and building up punishment over multiple rounds. Crawford, meanwhile, is the best in the game these days at switching stances. He might be the greatest switch hitter of all time. 
He can fight effectively in either a conventional or a southpaw stance and will use that ability in early rounds to determine his most likely path to victory. I got one of the best jabs in boxing. I throw great body shots as well. Canelo hits too hard, and he'd eventually connect with a big shot that would incapacitate Crawford. Crawford would undoubtedly use a lot of movement and jabs, and following the Floyd Mayweather Jr. blueprint. He plays it smart. You know, he has to play it smart and he has to play it like Mayweather did. Crawford has never been stopped and only intermittently damaged, but he's also never been hit by a guy with a track record of hurting guys well beyond the welterweight limit. Terence Crawford is a master. He coordinates it with his upper body. His foot, it's just incredible. Canelo is fundamentally sound in his ability to bob and roll his head and typically keeps himself in a good position to reply to any shots with his own counters. Well, years ago, Canelo was just dominating, you know, and, and, and knocking everybody out. He's also got a strong enough chin to absorb any damage that does come through and has never been knocked down across 63 fights in six weight classes. Do you still feel you're at your best? Yeah, I'm, a, I'm in my best. Crawford, though hardly a ballerina, does have mastery of in-ring footwork when it comes to approaching in straight lines or shifting to one side or the other to elude an opponent. But he's got the skill, and you're also catching Canelo when he's not maybe at his very best anymore. Like Alvarez, he does get hit with single shots, but is rarely the recipient of prolonged volleys. He's the most instinctual fighter I've ever seen in my life. But because he's so effective from multiple stances, he's able to counter with hard right hooks as a southpaw, which troubles right-handed foes trying to connect with conventional jabs. Canelo Alvarez is in the midst of preparing to defend his undisputed super middleweight world championship against Jermel Charlo in Las Vegas on September 30th. No disrespect right. to Charlo, but he's not... He's not a superstar. And if he blows Charlo away in six rounds or less or punishes him for the long haul, all will pronounce well in the cinnamon-haired world. I know we probably knock him out in the sixth or seventh round. Canelo recognized that Crawford is in the top ten of the boxers of the moment, and the Mexican champion assured that there is no one who can beat the American in some divisions. Inoue, Crawford, Germonta, uh, it's a lot, of, a lot of fighters. So regardless of the fact that Terence is a taller and remarkably skilled and has already been successful in three weight classes, it's still the most pertinent question about this fight. But Terence Crawford is not small. Terence Crawford is a big guy. Crawford has never weighed beyond 147 for a fight and has actually spent the majority of his career weighing significantly less. I would definitely have to gain weight. I just believe in my, my abilities. Just because Crawford is ambitious and wants the fight to take place doesn't necessarily mean it will. I'm not sure whether that fight happens, but if it does, two great fighters are favorite Canelo Alvarez. The boxing public wants Canelo to fight David Benavidez, not Crawford. You know what I mean? I'm a bigger guy, you know, I'm faster too, so... It'll be a great fight. I mean, the people are going to win. Fans have been pushing for the Canelo Benavidez for years, and it's one that makes sense because they both fight at 168. 